A solar eclipse is when the moon passes directly in front of the sun, making it dark during the day. And depending on where you are in the world, it will get darker and darker, and where I live happens to be in the path of totality. And so today, we're gonna be checking out that solar eclipse, and also, I heard that it was good luck, so let's also open some sodas. I've got two Kakashis and two Naruto's that I got from the Funko shop. Let's see if it helps at all. Alrighty, come on, Kakashi, we're looking for that chase, and... Ah, uh, it's looking pretty normal for this one. But I'll hold on just to make sure. Nope, just the common. And now if I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't actually know what the chase is. He's got something in his hand and I guess we'll know it when we see it. And let's find out. Oh, it's the regular one again. Yeah, nothing crazy going on there, but we've still got Naruto. And so let's see how we do with him. And for the chase, he is, I'm pretty sure, glow in the dark. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to tell right away, but I'll figure it out. And come on, come on, um. You know what? I'll have to check the pog on this one. But from what I'm seeing so far, I don't think it is. <sighs> it's the regular one. But now, hold on, everybody. We still have the last one of the day. Let's see if we get it. And now, if I'm going to be honest, so far, I'm not getting too much luck out of this solar eclipse. But let's hope. Come on. Is it different? Oh, wait. The ball looks different. I, I think I, I think it's the glow one. <laughs> <laughs> Naruto, I am sorry for dropping you, but let's check it. It is! Oh, wow! Check that out, we got them! And if you guys want to see the two of these next to each other to get a good comparison, this is the glow one, and here's the non-glow. You can tell by the orb in his hand. But anyways, everybody, that's not the point of the video today. What we're gonna be doing is checking out the eclipse! And I actually have a bit of a science experiment for today. I wanna see if it's gonna get dark enough where we can actually see glow-in-the-dark Funko Pops outside during the day. And I've grabbed five really interesting characters that I think will work super well. And let me show you the first one here, which is Neo from The Matrix. Now that I think about it, you may have been able to see that I took it from the background. I forgot to refill the hole either way. It's a really cool one. Then everybody, I went into my Disney section and grabbed the glow-in-the-dark Bruno. I feel like this one's gonna look amazing because the toe, oh, I thought the tablet was in his hand. Oh no, this is the one with the mouse as well as his eyes. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure it's a rat. Either way, it should be cool to see. Then I started to get a little bit more rare and expensive with the ones that I wanted to check out. So we have the glow-in-the-dark Loch Ness Monster. Monster limited to 1500 pieces. How's it gonna look? Probably pretty good, but also I wanted to try different types of glow-in-the-dark pops because for these ones here so far, they're all like glow-in-the-dark paint. But with these next two, it's actually like a glow-in-the-dark vinyl because SpongeBob doesn't have paint on top of them, it's just the yellow that glows. And I am really intrigued to see how this one's going to work because it is a little bit different, it'll probably glow better. And now I've gotta scoot over a bit because of how many we've got here, but the last one that I grabbed, I think you guys are really gonna like because it's a bit more glossy it's a little bit different and the one that we've got here is the glow-in-the-dark holographic Darth Vader definitely the most expensive one that we're gonna be trying out today I think it goes for like 800 to a thousand dollars I know I know I'm not but either way I think this is gonna be a lot of fun and let's go set up alrighty everybody we are set up and I also brought my black light out just in case I need to charge them a little bit more you know so it brightens them up a bit because of course it will be dark out they're gonna glow but I want to make sure they glow to their best of their ability you know and I also so have my eclipse glasses with me so that way I can look at the sun too. Or you know, the moon in front of the sun either way. And it is now 2.57 and apparently the total eclipse is gonna be at 3.18. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, everybody, I need to turn the black light on because we have two minutes until it is going to be completely dark. We need to charge these guys up. And let's see what it looks like. Ooh, 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 it's pretty black light. Everybody, everybody, it is completely dark now. Let's turn the lights off and let's see what they look like in the dark. Come on, that's crazy. And well, everybody, that was super cool. Way more interesting than I thought it was gonna be. I also have no clue where the camera is. I can't really see. I'll just take these things off. Anyways, I really did enjoy doing that. And now I also want to mention that the glow would have happened naturally, but I wanted to have that black light so they were really shining when it eventually was dark enough. 
And I wonder if they were bright enough that I could put these on to see them. But anyways, everybody, if you were in the path of totality or somewhere near it, I hope you guys had a great solar eclipse. And this has been a lot of fun, and I'll see you tomorrow!